Welcome back, Nomadic Neurons. Today, we're embarking on a time-traveling odyssey from 19th century sailing ships back with brave children to state-of-the-art AI technologies. We'll explore how humanity has been combating smallpox, one of the deadliest killers of all time. Part 1. The Barmer's Expedition, The Epic Voyage In the dawn of the 19th century, as nations grappled with empires and revolutions, a different kind of warrior emerged in Spain. Dr. Francisco Javier de Barmas was not a general leading men into battle, nor a politician navigating the treacherous waters of diplomacy. He was a physician armed with an idea, a radical one that promised to alter the course of human history, to eradicate smallpox, a deadly disease that had been the scourge of humanity for centuries. It wasn't just an idea but a visionary quest that would take him across continents and oceans. Armed with the smallpox vaccine, pioneered by Edward Jenner, Barmas set out on one of the most ambitious medical missions ever conceived. But there was a monumental challenge. The vaccine had a limited shelf life and couldn't survive the long sea voyage from Spain to the colonies. His ingenious solution? A chain of live carriers. Orphans, who served as living repositories of the vaccine, were inoculated in a sequence, ensuring that fresh lymph would be available at each destination. Imagine the courage it took, not just for Barmas, but for the children and the team of physicians and nurses who accompanied him. The ship, the Maria Pitta, set sail into uncertain waters, its crew united by a common purpose, to bring salvation to far-off lands. Each day presented a new challenge, whether it was the unremitting storms that lashed the ship, the risk of the vaccine losing its potency, or the ever-present shadow of political and cultural resistance in the lands they were heading to. But they persevered. Barmas and his team sailed across the Atlantic, touching the Canary Islands before reaching Puerto Rico, Venezuela, and eventually, Mexico. There, they split into smaller groups, fanning out to vaccinate entire communities, sometimes facing skepticism and superstition, other times greeted as heroes. But each inoculation, each life saved, was a triumph over the invisible enemy they were battling. From Mexico, the expedition spread its healing tendrils south into Colombia, Peru, and north into the United States. One branch even crossed the Pacific, reaching the Philippines. The expedition wasn't without its tragedies and setbacks, natural calamities, politics, even piracy threatened the mission. Yet, against all odds, they carried on, driven by an indomitable spirit and the very human belief in the power of science to change lives. When Barmas finally returned to Spain, he had circled the globe and immunized countless individuals. Though he didn't live to see it, his mission was a phenomenal success, saving millions of lives in the years to come and setting the stage for the eventual global eradication of smallpox. And so, nomads, this is the tale of the Barmas expedition, a quest that married the adventurous spirit of an explorer with the compassionate soul of a healer. It's a story that reminds us that heroism comes in many forms and that sometimes, the greatest battles are fought not with swords and guns, but with a drop of vaccine and a wellspring of human ingenuity. Part 2. The AI Revolution A Deeper Dive Into Epidemiological Forecasting and Vaccine Preservation Imagine if Dr. Francisco Barmas had something that would have seemed like magic in his era, the predictive capabilities of modern artificial intelligence. How might this have changed his epic journey to deliver the smallpox vaccine across the globe? Epidemiological forecasting, knowing where to strike before the enemy does. In Barmas's time, determining where the smallpox virus would strike next was a matter of luck and hearsay. Records, if they existed, were not comprehensive. People relied on sporadic reports and the dread of rumor. Today, AI could replace this uncertainty with predictive modeling. Machine learning algorithms trained on a plethora of factors, such as population density, existing health conditions, hygiene practices, and even variables like local climate and travel patterns, could provide accurate forecasts of where outbreaks were most likely to occur. With this invaluable information, Barmas could focus his efforts on the most vulnerable areas, preemptively administering vaccines before an outbreak. This isn't mere speculation, it's science. These kinds of predictive models are already being used in modern public health to forecast flu seasons and other communicable diseases. Vaccine preservation, making the most of each precious drop. The living chain of orphans Barmas used to preserve the vaccine was both ingenious and ethically fraught. It was a solution born out of necessity, with the children serving as living incubators for the vaccine during the voyage. But what if Barmas had access to AI-designed predictive algorithms that could model the vaccine's viability under different conditions? These algorithms could use data on temperature, exposure to light, and time to determine the optimal chain of inoculations among the orphans. The AI could offer a schedule and specific conditions for vaccine storage, optimizing its efficacy and potentially reducing the number of children needed for the living chain. Such an AI model could combine historical data, molecular biology, and even real-time observations to make its predictions, turning vaccine preservation into a precise science rather than a game of chance. 
In this alternate history where Barmas had access to the marvels of artificial intelligence, his expedition would not just be a tale of human endurance and medical ingenuity. It would be a pioneering voyage into the future of healthcare itself, a seamless blend of human and machine intelligence striving for a common goal, the eradication of one of mankind's deadliest foes. And there you have it, a journey back in time, reimagined through the lens of AI. If Dr. Baumis had today's technology, who knows how much further he could have reached? Just like Baumis, we at Nomadic Neurons are always seeking to explore new frontiers, blending history and cutting-edge technology to make AI easy and exciting to understand. If you've enjoyed this alternate history adventure, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to join us on many more explorations where we unravel the complexities of AI together.